So anyway, let's get right into it. Um, the first thing that I use, and you'll see all my extensions up here, I'm only doing half today, but the first thing that I cannot live without is a little thing called Checker Plus for Gmail. And the reason that I love this so much is because you can add as many different inboxes as you want. With, and uh, the good thing about this is like a little number symbol pops up anytime you have a new email. So it's a great way to um, make sure you're not missing anything, especially if you work in an industry online where things move very quickly or you have clients who email you last minute things. Having this extension up there is awesome because you don't need to have your inboxes open, especially if you have multiple inboxes and uh, you can just check them here. Um, I don't really, I don't have any emails right now. You'll see all my inboxes are empty, which means everything has been read and answered, but it's very easy to navigate to different inboxes by simply clicking on these email names. If you click on any of these, a new window will open and, uh, and it's really easy to access your email. Of course, if you don't even need to go that so far, you don't need to access your inbox. You just need to send a quick email from one particular, um, email address, you can just hit this pencil button and that pulls up a compose email option. And it's super easy to, um, to refresh to make sure you haven't missed anything. Uh, if you click this option here, it's really easy to check out your options. This is where you'd go in to do things like actually um, add different emails, reorder them in order of importance or priority, or maybe which one is your default address. Um, Really, really easy, and my favorite thing about this is that it's free. And of course, if you ever are doing anything uh, that's important or you think, I just need to block out some time and I don't want to be bothered by any pings because Lord knows we're pinged by things all day long, you can actually, um, just by right-clicking on this extension, you can do a Do Not Disturb. So it turns off the extension itself for anywhere between 30 minutes to an entire day. The next one that I use and love and recommend that everybody download is ABP Blocker. So what this does is block those really annoying pop-up ads. Um, and it, you have an option, again, really easy and it's free, and you have the option to turn it on or off. So you might get to a particular website like Forbes, I think if you're reading an article and you try to access the, their site, you might see something on their site that pops up that says like, hey, will you please whitelist this for us? We noticed that you're using an ad block up popper. So if that's the case, you just toggle that on and off and it either enables or disables the blocker on this particular website. So again, really easy to use. Um, you can see that just from today, and yeah, I do do a lot of surfing, but just from today I've had literally 150,000 <laughs> ads blocked so it definitely works um, and I can tell you I've been using this for years and I've never had an annoying pop-up or one of those like you won five thousand dollars pop-up when I had this on so it's super effective and free the third one that I cannot live without is a personal favorite of mine and that's because I like to talk about LinkedIn all the time and this little app right here is my favorite thing that LinkedIn has developed. Again, it is free and it's called Sales Navigator for Gmail. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm in my Gmail right now. The whole purpose of Sales Navigator is that it pulls up information about the person that you're emailing with and it could be anybody. So if you're emailing with a potential client and you have this sales navigator installed, it's going to, whenever you roll over somebody's email, it's going to pull up all the information from their LinkedIn profile that they can find. The reason I love this so much is because it gives you a snapshot of who you're emailing with without ever needing to go to an external program to look them up. So really, really handy, especially if you're emailing prospective clients or maybe even if you are emailing on behalf of a client, it's really handy to know exactly who you're emailing with. It'll pull up things like their title, the company that they work at, um, things like their, their Twitter, if they have social media associated with their email. You can see all the shared connections that you have with them, different groups. So um, again, I don't even think it's necessary to unlock the full version, which gives you a little more robust uh, information, but I think the free version is perfect because it just gives you exactly what you need to know a little bit more about the person that you're connecting with. Um, and of course, extra bonus, if you're not already connected with the person on, uh, on LinkedIn, 
it gives you the option. I think here, instead of you, pro you profile, I think there's just a blue button that says something like connect with this person. So yet another great, easy, pain-free way to grow your network and get all the details on somebody that you're interacting with. So that's number three. Um, number four is something that I think everybody should have, and number four for me is LastPass. So you need to have a password manager. Every single password manager nowadays has an extension, so it makes it extra easy to add, edit, access passwords. Um, I know we all nowadays have hundreds of websites that have passwords, so there's no need to use the same password for each and every one of them, and there's no need to try to remember hundreds of different passwords. And I'll show you why I like this one so much and how it works. Let's check out my fitness pal. So when I go to log in, I have an account with my fitness pal to help track uh, what I'm eating throughout the day. And you can see here, I have no idea what my login details are, but it doesn't really matter because LastPass handles that for me. So you'll see this handy little notification. This one indicates that it has one email stored. So there's my email. And then it automatically pulls up the password. So once that's in, I can simply log in and I'm good to go. I don't need to worry about anything. And again, this particular extension is free. And uh, a lot of the plans on LastPass are free too. So if you're an individual just using passwords for yourself or maybe for some clients, uh, if you work with them online, the free account is awesome. And the last one I wanna show you today, the Great Suspender. And what this one does is it suspends tabs that have been inactive for at least 15 minutes. The reason that I like this one so much is because um, it helps save some memory and it keeps Chrome moving faster. So if you've used Chrome before, you may have noticed that Chrome's actually very big and it can run very, very slowly. And the more tabs you have open, the slower everything runs on your computer. So what this does is if you haven't looked at or used a tab in at least 15 minutes, um, it basically shuts it down. And you'll see on the screen, something will pop up that just says uh, tab is suspended. So I had a tab open for Squarespace, haven't used it in a while. This is exactly what it looks like, tab suspended. So you have two options. You can either click it to reload or you can add Squarespace, Squarespace to a whitelist, which means the Great Suspender will never, ever suspend this site ever again. Um, and I really love this one because, again, it's just it's free. It's super easy to use. It, there's no brain power needed whatsoever to make it work. You just set it, you forget it, and then you let it do its work and make sure that Chrome runs uh, fast always. And if you guys enjoyed today's tips, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be first to get notified whenever we do some live videos here on YouTube. Again, I'm Erin with ftheoffice.com where we talk biz money travel for freelancers and I'll see you on the next video.